Hey everyone, I am back with a different kind of video today. This is a nail video. It's not how I do my nails. It's just sharing what I use to do my nails. I've gotten some questions lately um, about my nails. These are not real. <laughs> um, I tried to grow mine out and I did really well for a few years, but they are just really, really thin and they peel and they break really easy. They bend and it's absolutely driving me crazy. So I started doing a full cover nail. This is actually the third set that I've tried. So the first set I bought was at Sally's and they were okay. I'm going to grab them. I got the nails to go the square. I like the square nails. Um, I don't like them very long, so these were perfect, but I did have to do a lot of filing to get these to fit, so um, I only did one set with these, and you don't get very many at all. <laughs> and then I went and got the Kiss nails at Walmart. Again, I got the short square ones. Um, just the same you don't get very many in here and I still had to do a lot of filing to get these to fit so I did one set with these I can get one set of nails to last three weeks so what I did was um, I went and watched a bunch of YouTube videos <laughs> like we all do and so I had discovered these are the plastic like the hard plastic ones they yeah, they're thin, but they still didn't bend or fit my nail the way I needed it to. So I found a set on Amazon. These are the soft gel um, nails. So I got the set. I'll move everything else out of the way and show you what came in the set. So I got, it's called Tom Tomika. Tom I think that's how you say it. So you get this. And this whole set has 500 nails in it. Um, I was kind of worried about the shape of these nails because um, they kind of go into like a coffin shape. Um, I don't know if you yeah, that's not working. Um, I don't have just a regular piece of paper near me. That's kind of funny. Um, so it's a different kind of shape but because I cut them down so much they they turn out pretty square for me. I don't leave them this length. So, um, I love these. These absolutely are phenomenal for my nails. Um, not to say that they're for everybody, but, you know, um, my nails vary from hand to hand. Some of them are the same, some of them are not. It just kind of depends. But, yeah. Then it came with the nail glue for the nail tips. Now this is a gel glue, so it also comes with the little curing lamp, which is fantastic. And I just plug it in while I'm using it. It's got a little auto shut off. Um, and you also get a set of nail clippers. Um, so I have two of these now. but. Yeah, so that's the set, and I will tell you, I absolutely love it. I can put a link in the description if you'd like. No problem. They're on Amazon. I think it was like $20. So, um, the other thing I use, I got this at Walmart as well, and I think it was $20. It's by the company Flawless, and it's just um, an electric nail file kit. So it's not like an industrial one like you would use at a salon or anything. This is an at-home use. And the ones I use the most is the Polish, the Prep, and the Cuticle. And I've used the Smooth as well. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. The Cuticle one, love it. So um, it's got two different directions and it's got two different speeds. So it's really easy to use um, at home. And then... Um, I just get these nail files, Diamond Cosmetics. It tells you there's a 320 grit and a 240. I get these in a three pack at the Dollar Tree. So these are just to shape the corners um, after I'm done clipping, you know, that kind of thing. 
then my favorite gel polish that I have been using for three years now is actually on eBay. And um, you can get a good deal. It's from a woman in California. So they get they get to you really fast. And a lot of times she has um, buy four, get six free. So it's fantastic. I've never spent more than like $21 on 10 different polishes. So this is what the polish looks like. This is just the ivory. It's what I have underneath my my base right now for my nails. Um, and then she's got the, the base coats and the top coats. She's also got a glitter top coat, which I do have as well. So those are the gel polishes that I use. And years and years and years ago, again, I think this was from Target or Walmart, I bought the Sensational kit. I hated the polish. I hated the gel polish. It was just, it didn't work on my nails. But this lamp, I've used this lamp ever since. So it's just a small one. I have to do four fingers and then a thumb. But um, I've done my toes with this as well. Like my foot is kind of small so I can fit my whole foot in there, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so that's the lamp I use. It's got a 15 second blink, 15 seconds. So it's 30 seconds of cure time um, total. And then um, on Amazon, again, I use these foil wraps for removal. And then I bought, so I use the cotton rounds and these are the lint free ones, which are fantastic to do any kind of removal with um, alcohol. I just have this 70% alcohol to help um, prep nails. I've got a super nail cuticle oil that I use. Um, I've had this for years. This bottle is huge. Um, I just use a Q-tip to put it on and I got this at Sally's Beauty. Um, the way I soak off is this Onyx Professional Coconut this does not smell horrible. That's the only reason I use this is because acetone is nasty. I don't have an area where it's like completely, um, what do I want to say? Like an area that's, that's filtered, I guess. I don't know, whatever I'm trying to say. But, um, this one does not bother anybody in my house. So I love it. Then at the Dollar Tree, I got this little makeup bag. So in this bag, I have like essential nail stuff, which is one of my favorites. I got this on Amazon so many years ago. I don't even know. Um, so it's this little rose gold set. It's got like your little pusher and they're metal. I don't even know what half of these things do, but this is the one I use the most. Both ends of this one. So love that. I have just an old cuticle cutter and an old um it's not rubber but it's kind of a soft plastic tipped cuticle pusher as well um you need to get a new one of those um the other thing i have some scissors in here for cutting my nail stickers which is what these are i will get into that in a minute i've got these little buffers for when after i put the nails on if you're gonna paint a fake nail like just your your tip that you put on your fake nail you need to um scratch the surface or the polish is just going to come off so my sister gave me these i don't even know where she got them probably amazon and i just use this to buff the nail at the end um and then there's just random like files and stuff in here so that is that i will show you the nail stickers that i do have i get these on amazon some of them I've been highly disappointed in, and then there are others that are fantastic. So, I just have them in this little, uh, this little photo album. It's, I think it holds four by six photos. And so I just have them in here. I don't remember where I got some of these on Amazon, so I would have to look in my orders and just, um, put some links in there for you guys. These flowered ones is one of the ones I was not super happy with um, because I tried to use them and they didn't stretch they tore so not sure I'll link that one this one I love um, and then 
I do have an entire set of like glitter wands and those have worked out fantastic. Then I bought a set of Valentine wands and there's a ton in here. And these are great. These ones worked out perfectly for me as well. They've been doing really well. This is from the set that I have on now. So I haven't tried any of these fall ones and I haven't tried any of the Halloween ones because I just recently, recently got them. I have tried a few of these Christmas ones and they they held up pretty good. And then in the back I just have a bunch of different like tiny nail stickers that I have purchased um, over time through Amazon. So that's that's how I do like the stickers and stuff. So just keep them stored. I just labeled it nail stickers, whatever. Um, I don't plan on doing nail tutorials. I, I can honestly take like three hours to do my nails. I'm so picky. Um, but I can show you some, some pictures. Um, I do have like a process of my last nail set. So this is actually after I put the nails on. So they're clear and I used the gel glue to do them. And then that is after buffing the nail with the little orange block that I have. And then that's just painting them with the white gel polish. And then that is my stickers. So that's the process, sort of, kind of in a nutshell on how I do my nails. And, um, yeah, I just, I had some questions about how, how I do my nails. You know, do I go to a salon? Do I do them at home? Whatever. I do them at home. <laughs> I'm not paying salon prices, regardless of COVID or not. I still didn't like paying salon prices before COVID hit. So for me, if I can do it myself, I will. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to try to find some links, put those in the description for you guys. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. It's kind of a different kind of share video, but uh, I just, I had questions asked. So just thought I would do a video and answer all those questions and get it out there. So there you have it, my nails. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!